Welcome, folks. Even though it's the post-Halloween period, I've still baked the most delicious pumpkin pie. To celebrate this Halloween that's just been, feel free to check this year's video out here. But of course, as I'm a fan of the Michael Myers Halloween franchise, including the third movie, even though Michael isn't in it, it's still great. So, as per my ongoing tradition, it's time to carve a pumpkin based on one of the movies. I've made jack-o'-lanterns based on the first three movies, plus the sixth one, going out of sequence with the movies here, but now I'm back on track, going in order. So this year I'm carving my pumpkin based on Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. The reason I did Halloween 6 before this movie is because Halloween 4 doesn't have a singularly iconic pumpkin design in the film, at least not directly, and it sadly won't be the last time the Halloween franchise will do this. Even still, there are interesting, memorable images in this movie's title sequence, and so I'm drawing on those in this year's video. I've chosen to use the ghost Halloween decoration on my pumpkin this year. As intricate as it is, I'm giving it a try. The interesting thing about Halloween 4, like Halloween 3 before it, it was supposed to again not feature Michael Myers, but instead be another anthology horror film that's about the season of Halloween. And so then, every year or so, the idea was to make a new film, unrelated to the last, which comes out on Halloween about the festival. That of course didn't happen, and in fact hasn't happened since Halloween 3, as every new film has featured Michael as the villain, and as a result the stories have often felt very similar, if not the same which sounds as though it should have run out of steam long ago, but I'll give it credit. Every time the franchise tries to do something wildly different with this familiar idea and character, it's bad. Often disastrously bad. Halloween Ends is out this year, which is the most dubious title this series has ever had, as the 13th film in this series, so if more do get made, they will. Stick with the same formula and please the fans, or at least make good movies. But anyway, Halloween 4 was meant to be a ghost story, according to John Carpenter. Interesting idea, very different, but sameness is what kept this franchise going, and so we got more of the same thing. I would have loved different stories being told, but at the same time I enjoy the Halloween films, the good ones. The bad ones are fun to make fun of, or roll your eyes at, in equal measure. So, as a nod to the original story idea, I think that's why this image is included, also referencing when Michael dresses up as a ghost in the original movie. And so that's why my lantern is the way it is this year. I'll keep making new lanterns every year, but also I wouldn't mind reviewing all the movies, because I'm a fanatic, giving them that artist's perspective review treatment, which I've done a couple of those kinds of videos on my channel, but I'd love to do more, and I know other people would too, so that'll be fun to make and share on YouTube. Once again, a happy belated Halloween, and feel free to watch the Halloween content on my channel, and stay tuned for more content. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe, ringing that notification bell to get notified on all updates as they come through in the future. Take care, everyone.